Hey you guys, welcome back to A Dusty Diamond. I'm Amber and today we are going to be testing out some of the new e.l.f. makeup. The thing that first started the idea for this video was I have the e.l.f. camo concealer and I like the coverage of it, but I can tell that it's just a little bit too dry for my under eyes. And I saw that they had launched a new one that is a hydrating concealer. And so I got super excited and I got on their website and um, they were having a good deal. And so I went ahead and purchased some other things along with that. But the sad part is everything came in except for the hydrating concealer. <laughs> so I'm still excited to try that. I've emailed them. They're going to send me one. But in the meantime, I wanted to try these products out and let you guys know what I think of them. So let's just do that. I already have part of my face makeup done. Everything except for what these products are going to cover. So let's start out with... The Ultimate Eyes Five Piece Brush Collection. And so you've got five eyeshadow brushes. In those five, there's a contour brush, small angled brush, a blending brush, a flat eyeliner brush, and an eyebrow duo brush. So I'm assuming it's double ended. So let's see. They are in a package. Okay, yeah. This is the duo brow brush. And then we have the blending brush. I'm always impressed with Elf's quality for their price point. And we have the small angled brush, which I think looks almost exactly like. I'm pretty sure that the duo brow brush and the small angled brush have the exact same brush on them, which is fine because you might have different products on each of them. And then have the flat eyeliner brush, which I would probably not use for eyeliner. I would be more likely to use the angled brush for eyeliner. But that's just me. And then we have the eye contour brush, which is also a fluffy brush. It's just a little more densely packed, shorter bristles. So more to pack on color. Whereas this one's more, probably better for blending out colors. So there's the brush set. And we're gonna use those to do our eyeshadow. And I have an e.l.f. bite size eyeshadow. Cream and sugar is the color. And that's what we're gonna be using to do our eyes. I'm sorry that you can hear my chickens in the background. <laughs> They're always here. So in this little eyeshadow, you get four pans, you get two shimmers and two mattes. Honestly, I wish there was like a medium color between this one and this one though, cause you don't have a very good transition color, but we'll just try to start light with this one and build up, but it's pretty dark. Let's see what we can do though. So I'm gonna take the fluffy brush, the blending brush, and I'm gonna start with the skin tone color. It's pretty dusty. And I'm just gonna cover the eyelid get a good base there. I mean, it's pretty much skin tone for me. First impression is good. Although there was the hair that just fell out of it onto my face. That might not be the best of sign, but, but it is very soft. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the smaller, the eye contour brush, and I'm gonna pick up some of that darker color, the darker brown, and I'm gonna start trying to build it up in the corner. I'm going very light-handed with this because I don't want to go too hard and then have too much. Okay. 
It's actually not too bad, and it's pretty easy to build it up. I still think I would prefer to have a medium brown shade in there as well, though. But this does not look bad, and it's blending out pretty well. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the angle brush. I'm gonna go in with the skin tone and just go right here. That way when I go in with the darker color, it kinda fades it out a little bit when it gets closer to the center of my eye. And I'm gonna go in with the dark one and hit the outer corner of the bottom lash. And in my eyeball. Okay. Then I'm going to go back in with the big fluffy one and I'm just going to blend around the outside edge. You can create a, like a really simple, easy, neutral look with this. And if you want to, there's the two shimmer colors, which I always opt for. So I'm going to add a little bit of both of those actually to my eyes now. I want the darker one. Now I'm just going to put it on my finger. It looks very pretty. And I'm going to do towards the center and a little towards the outer edge. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. You guys, this looks really good for the price. I mean, it was, I think it was three bucks. You cannot beat that. That's what I love about e.l.f. Like every once in a while you'll come across a product that's not the best, but most of the time for the price point, their products are pretty good. I'm just going to blend those together a little bit. I'm impressed. Okay, there's the eye look. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, I also got the Stardust Glitter, and it's in the color Gold Galaxy. Let's see. I almost hate to add it, though. I really like the look that I already have. Oh my goodness, the lid was almost off of that. That could have been bad. There's fuzz all over it from the packing. Okay. That's what it looks like. And it is a loose glitter. There's a little tab in there that I've got to somehow figure out how to take off. Is this even possible? Okay, success! And glitter goes everywhere. <laughs> well, that's lovely. Okay. All right, so, whoop! There went that brush. I am going to take this one, the flat eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to take this loose glitter, which now I'm terrified of because I didn't realize it was loose glitter. I got my brush wet. I'm going to take this loose glitter and pack in the center here. Is 
This is a very chunky glitter. I mean, it's pretty. But you're gonna need a glitter glue if you're gonna wear this all day. My goodness, though. That just elevated my eyeshadow game. And we're getting glitter everywhere. Yeah, I would definitely recommend a glitter glue with this one if you're gonna buy this one, but it's super pretty, super sparkly. Okay, let's try to remove some of the glitter off my face now. I mean, that went everywhere. That probably wasn't the best idea. I think I got most of them, but if you guys see one, don't let it bother you. So we're gonna move on. And next we are going to try the Elf Cold Eyeliner in Black. This is just a pencil liner and it looks like it's got a little smudgy brush on the end. Defines and shades the eye with rich blendable color so you can use it as an eyeliner or an eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, it's got a built-in pencil sharpener on the top. Not a very fine point on there. And then the smudger on the end. I'm gonna try to use this as an eyeliner, so I am going to sharpen this and hopefully get a little bit more of a point on it. Otherwise, we're gonna have a super thick eyeliner. That literally made the biggest mess ever. And now I have black all over everything. So I got it a little more pointed. And we're gonna go in and try to do the eyeliner. I'm just not much of a stick eyeliner kind of person. I much prefer liquid eyeliner over using a pencil. And I'm not gonna try to do anything crazy with this because I couldn't get a super fine tip. So we're just gonna line the lash line here. Seems like it did a pretty good job. Like I said, these are not my favorite, but for what it is, it, it did what it's supposed to. It's decent, it wouldn't be my first choice, but it's okay. Okay, so then the last two things I have are a lipstick and it's a Seriously Satin Lipstick. And as far as I can tell, it's in shade 29690. And the e.l.f. Lip, lip Lacquer in the shade Bubbles. And it's got a lot of glitter in it. So let's see what they do. I do like a little bit of glitter in a lip gloss, but I'm not a huge fan of like multicolored glitter in lip gloss, which this is all the same color, so I might like it. All right, first we're gonna go in with the Seriously Satin Cream Lipstick. That looks like a really pretty color in the package. Where is it? This is so close to my natural lip color. Mm. It just intensified like all the all the cracks and crevices of my entire lip. I do not like that. That one's gonna be a no. I like the color. I just don't like what it did to my lips. 
just try this and see if this helps. So it's just really super clear. Actually, it didn't help it tremendously, but it did help a little. Mm, I like this gloss. This is really pretty. And it's, it's a little bit of a thicker consistency, but it's not like too thick. I saw glitter everywhere. I like this. This is good. So that's all I had. That's the products that I had to try out. Uh, overall, I'm rather impressed. Um, I like the eyeshadow brushes, the ones that I used. They seem to be really soft and they seem to blend well. So did the shadows. They also blended pretty well. If you like glitter, this will do. But honestly, I would rather have like a pressed glitter compared to a loose um, eyeshadow glitter. That way you don't have to go through the extra step of having to put the glue on and then and then the glitter and then hoping it doesn't fall over all over your face. So I I just lean more towards the pressed glitters, but if you're one of the people that likes glitters like this, it's definitely pretty. The coal eyeliner, I would probably pass on, just not my thing. And then the lip products, I would skip on the lipstick. Maybe if you had a different color, the line defining thing might not be as noticeable because I notice with light co lighter colors like this, a lot of times that happens. So maybe it's just a color issue, but um, I probably wouldn't pick up another one of those. And then the gloss, I really love that and I would recommend that. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you like videos like this, like and subscribe to see our next uploads. And in the meantime, have a good day, have a good week, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!